I'm Emma and you're watching Fashion TV. We saw his collections at London Fashion Week, but now we have exclusive access to his workshop. It's time to meet the man behind the designs, Christian Blanken. Now, I just want to talk first of all about your label, right back to basics, I suppose. Have you got a defined signature style? Well, I think what, what is starting to happen is that uh, as the exposure on the collection has started to grow, I think retailers and editors are starting to identify certain key things within the collection and those things are becoming the signature. So I hear words like clean, utilitarian, luxury, sportswear. So how do you start an idea? You know, what sparks that idea right from the beginning? I think the design process is different for every designer. For myself, I'm very sensitive towards the fabrics that I use. I think they're obviously really important. So I start with the fabric, then I look at shapes, and then I start to put things together in that way. Your label has been going since 2008. Yeah. But before that, you did work on some other very well-known yes. labels. Diane von yes. Max Mara, yes. Michael Kors. Yes. First of all, how does that differ from working on your own collection? Well, when you work for your own collection, it's actually a much quicker process because there's nobody that you need to go to for an approval. Yeah. So the own collection is, is relatively easy because it's 100% my taste, 100% what I want to do. If I'm going to compromise on my own collection, then I might as well not do it yeah. at all. So, <laughs> so I try to really put my own vision forward 100% on my own collection and it's really good because it works as a sort of palette cleanser for my commercial work. Can you describe to me the woman that you design for? I think the, the woman that I design for is probably going to be living in a city. She's probably really into clothes. She has hopefully quite nice taste <laughs> uh, and has a real life, you know. I think the clothes that I do aren't just for sitting around in or being pretty in. Mm. They're utilitarian, so you need to be able to work in them, walk in them, move in them. They need to really be part of your wardrobe and part of your life. So. I would say she's going to be urban, she's going to be on the move, she's going to be a real, you know, she's going to be a real woman, active. What is next for your label? Well, right now we're looking at uh, a few areas. Menswear is something that I'm hugely interested yeah, in. I've dabbled a yeah, little bit. Yeah. Uh, the problem is that the menswear market is, is quite different to the women's market. It's a market that's very much in growth, actually. But uh, strategically, it's a little bit more complex to manoeuvre. So tell us a little bit more about the collection in terms of the colours and the materials you use. Every season I tend to keep my range of um, fabrics really, really narrow. I work in th three classifications. One is jersey, one is tailoring, and one is leather or sh shearling. So yeah. those are the three main areas that I work in. And then I suppose you could put coats with tailoring. So. Yeah, there's a lot of jersey in there, silk jersey, viscose jersey, and then tailoring fabrics, which cover a wide range. And then there's always a few leather pieces in there. Have you got a favourite piece? I mean, is it really hard for you to choose a favourite piece? Not at piece? all, no. Um, a a favourite piece, again, I think a favourite piece would be anything that really sort of encapsulates what I am trying to do. I think this is, for instance, uh, a piece that I like doing very much because okay. it has quite a utilitarian look to it. It's yes. multi-zippered, uh, but the fabric is like a, a weatherproof silk taffeta. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for. But don't forget, for more news and updates, check out our Facebook and Twitter pages. We'll see you soon. Ta -da. Ta -da.